So tell us about uh, some of the greatest technological advances that you've seen around some of these things like data analytics and robotics and IoT, some of the things that people might be able to sort of relate to. Well, a lot of people don't realize they use these things every day. So one example might be Waze. I don't know if you use Waze in your car, um, but Waze is an AI tool that gathers data from all different places and uh, creates um, machine learning and then provides you advice about routes to take. Um, so it's a great example, but people don't realize that these things they're touching every day are AI. And, um, and so that's one simple example. There's uh, things right now that are happening with um, big data. So we've heard a lot about big data. Or AI is nothing without big data. So you need these, these large databases. And, and what's happened with, um, with um, computing power has enabled us to be able to search a database much quicker. You know, in the, in the um, you know, just 10 years ago, we would not have been able to do what we're doing because it would have been so slow uh, that it would have been practically useless. Well, today, we now have the computing power and with supercomputing and some of the technology, you know, quantum computing that, that Google has announced, essentially delivering a, um, uh, an answer in 20 seconds that would have taken something like 200,000 years um, 10 years ago um, is a significant step ahead. <laughs> and so what it, what it has done is enabled these things that, that used to take a long time to be done um, almost instantaneously. So searching that database, finding an answer, or producing an output. So as, we, as we've got all these sensors out there, tens of thousands of sensors, billions of sensors uh, around the world providing information, um, the compute capability, um, the virtualized machines that are out there, the VMs that are able to deal with this and bring that information back to to us to uh, produce results and outputs are, are significant. There's some really cool tools out there that, that an amateur person like myself could even use. Power BI is a, a product that Microsoft uses uh, or, or sells that um, is an incredibly powerful tool to produce dashboards and so take data from many sources and pull it into one common dashboard that you can have uh, uh, present your information in a very meaningful way. I mean, there's so many different things that we're, we're seeing now that uh, technology has enabled. Uh, drones, um, you know, we, a couple of years ago, I, I would think about drones from the perspective of my son having one as a toy and almost like a dog, it, you know, it has a tether and it will fly along behind you and video you. But today, drones application and business, um, at our recent conference in, uh, in London, we had uh, one of my uh, co-board members, uh, uh, Steve Capper, talk about um, about how they use drones in his business, Royal Bam Construction, for um, uh, security, for inspection, for surveys, for a number of different things. Um, so we're seeing these technologies become prevalent, prevalent everywhere um, in, in areas that you wouldn't think um, necessarily a construction company would be using uh, high-tech. Well, they do. 3D printing of bridges is uh, something that is now happening. So they're printing out, you know, 20 meter long spans of a bridge at a time using a 3D print. Um, these, these technologies are, are moving very, very quickly. And, and with the, the increase in compute uh, processing and storage capabilities, the improvements in network that are happening, um, this is all just continuing to accelerate and follow Moore's law of, of exponential growth.